Yo, what's going on, guys? Our 4Gaming here, and uh, sorry for that little twist. I was just trying to make sure it was recording, because I'm recording this. I'm, like, facing the actual thing. Anyway, so, I'm finally doing the long-awaited setup tour video. Um, a lot of, I have been doing a lot of videos saying, like, oh, I'm going to do it then, and then I'm going to do it then, and then I never do it. And I actually said I wasn't going to be doing a setup tour anytime soon, but I decided to do it since I have a lot of free time, so, um, and three, two, one, I'm going to show you my setup, I'm going to, oh, well, I'm going to show you how I record, how I set up everything, how I, um, do everything to get the best out of it, I'm trying to put my camera where it's supposed to be, but yeah, so I'm going to show you my setup in three, two, one, and boom, okay, so basically, I'm going to flip it sideways, okay, that's better, so basically what happens is, um, when I come in here, I'm gonna come in just to get a better perspective ever, ever, of everything. And I'm also gonna turn on this light. Sorry for the camera angle is bad. Boom. Okay, so I'm gonna sit right here and I'm gonna give a good view of everything. Perfect. Wow. So, where we are going to start is, um... I have two uh, TVs. The reason why I need two TVs is so that, uh, um, by the way, this TV is not like set up properly yet. So basically what I use, uh, why I have two, D two TVs is so that when I'm playing Minecraft on this one or any type of game, I can watch YouTube on this one or Netflix and when I'm, it, and then it goes like vice versa. And then I use this by big giant light to record. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, my finger got in the way. Um, and then, um, this is one out of two video game controller, Xbox 360 controllers that I have. Um, the other one is, yeah, right here, boom. So, um, I have two controllers, um, I don't know why I didn't pause for that one part. Um, and then I have my, um, I have a blue Xbox 360 controller, which is right here. And if you, and if you might notice it, this is actually the little cover page or like the thumbnail that I have for my actual channel. So I have three Xbox 360 controllers, one dark, uh, bleh, one, which is, um, you know, the color, the blue, shiny blue, and then when I have two black. Sorry if this video is really bad, I just really wanted to get this out since a lot of people have been waiting for it. So yeah, I have two monitors. They're actually, they're actually different sizes. This one is a 25 inch and this one is a 28 inch. Uh, the reason why I wanted a bigger TV was so that I can have like, just, I don't know, I just wanted a bigger TV. And then, that's the seat that I sit in every time I'm recording. That's a camera. I'm actually going to explain what I do with that when I actually explain how I record. Um, so, basically, I have my Xbox 360 on, and that's what this is viewing. And then, this Xbox One S is what this is connected to. And uh, there is my horrible cable management. I am glad that you cannot see that because my cable, my cable management is awful, atrocious. So, um, yeah, so, um, I basically have those two up, um, so I don't have to keep on swip swapping, and then that cable right there, um, that's just, I don't know what I'm going to do with that wire, um, and then, so basically, uh, what I do with my camera is I actually set it up on my tripod, which is right there on the ground because I'm not using it, um, and I put it on the tripod, and I actually face it towards my TV right there. And I lessen the brightness of the actual video. And then what I do after that is when I'm done recording, I uh, go to my computer, I put the file in, and then I upload it. So that's basically how I record my videos. I just stick my camera in front of my TV because I don't have a capture card. I've been wanting to get a capture card for a while. It's just I never got one because, one, I don't, I do have the money. I just don't want to spend it yet because what I used to do is I would get a lot of money and then I would just completely like spend it so I don't want to do that yet and you might notice that there's something weird going on here so you see that this TV takes up almost this whole table well I had an idea 
And uh, that's what I came up with. I used my Xbox One S and my one of my Minecraft books to prop up this TV. Um, it might not look professional, but I I am fine with how it looks. I really do like it. Even though a lot of you OCD people might complain about that little gap right there, um, I don't really care because I'm not an OCD person. There's only certain times where my OCD I do I do have OCD, but it doesn't kick in that much. But anyway, I'm getting I'm getting way into other stories. Anyway, so yep, my chair, my camera, which is right there, and it has like a small tripod. Um, and if you're wondering what that noise is. Down there is a fan, and the reason why I have a fan down there is because um, every time, because uh, it's it's pointed at a box which ha which is connected to my Xbox, and it has like a little fan in it. But the thing is, the fan actually broke, so I had to get a fan to actually point to it because every time it, it overheated, it would shut off the whole Xbox, and I would have to wait for it to re to cool it off and then that would take forever so that was just a pain in the ass i don't want to say the full word because like if you younger ver viewers are watching anyway any anyway okay so you oh so um basically i have acoustic foam everywhere if you saw a couple of my videos i explained why i have acoustic foam um th since this is a very small room i just want to have acoustic foam to dan down the sound acoustic foam everywhere i even i want to check this out i even have it on my bed pretty fancy stuff um i have my blanket as a roof it might not look fancy but i don't care and then so um i'm also going to show you uh what i do to actually um get recording so i'll pause the video get it set up and then i'll come back when all the curtains are down and three, two, one, and so this is um, basically what it looks like when I'm in full recording mode. I put this down uh, to block that, and then I have this big giant sheet to block that. And I'm gonna pause this again, and I'm gonna go inside. And I'm actually gonna take you inside to see how tight it is when I'm recording. So I'm gonna go in there right now. So this is basically how small my space is i have my green screen right there um oh crap i pointed the camera the wrong way sorry about that um so yeah this is basically how small my camera space my gaming space is um i at first wanted it larger um but Due to the size of the room, um, I just decided to have it like this. And you might think that 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 this TV gets in the way, but it actually doesn't get in the way because my arm doesn't bump into it. But I just um, I ha I just sit in this little tiny space because I just feel it's a lot more convenient. It tends the uh, the sound when I'm talking better. Um, it doesn't create as much echo, like, cause, like, I noticed that when I didn't have the foam up, the echo in my room was ridiculous, and it just didn't sound good, and, um, yeah, so, I'm not gonna end the setup tour yet, um, um, oh, and I also almost forgot to show you my headphones, so, basically, um, what I have here is, I wish I had my flashlight with me, um, I'm just going to take them off the hangers. So, first I have my white my white camouflaged Turtle Beach headset. They look amazing. Don't don't worry about that. Um anyway, so this is my white Turtle Beach headset. Um feels amazing, looks amazing. So, yep, those are my Turtle, Turtle Beach headphones. Um I do have Philips headphones on that one hanger if you can see that. Um on that one hanger, but I'm using them at the moment. Um, and then here are my, um, uh, what are these? These are the Caution HG2000s. Um, they are actually really cool headphones. They're not too expensive. They look expensive, but they're only like 20 bucks. And I have two pairs of them. I have a new, uh, another pair down there. Um, on uh, one thing, sorry if the lighting is really bad, I don't have any light down here, but yeah, so luckily you can't see my cable management because it's atrocious. And just to prove I do have another one of those headsets, here it is. Boom. 
And also, by the way, when you plug these headphones in and you're using them, the whole headset lights up. So, that's really, really cool. And since I don't have a hanger for that, I just pop it. And then, if you guys are interested, um, if you're probably going like, where the heck are your speakers? Well, they're actually back here. They are super hard to see. Um, there's one speaker that has a light, and then my other speaker is right here. Yeah. There's my other speaker. Sorry if the lighting is really bad. I don't have any light down here. Um, but yeah, there is all my cables. Um, I don't really want to go into cable management because I don't really care about cable management. My hand keeps on getting in the way. It's super annoying. But yeah, so that was the long-awaited setup tour. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I'm sorry if a few of the parts were a little bit crappy. I was just trying to get this up because I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for it. But I finally got it up. So, um, yeah. And um, I will see you guys. Oh, wait. I want to do the intro with the camera pointing towards me. So, uh, I'll be back. Okay. So, uh, that was the setup tour. And, um, yeah. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Um, it was a little bit crappy, but... It was a set of tour. Not all set tours are perfect. But yeah, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, setup tour for um, today's video on, this, on uh, R4 Gaming 123. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!